Hi everyone. This is just a little video to show you how quick and easy it is to download an app from an app store onto your Active Connect so that you can use it in your classroom. I'm going to be showing you two app stores today, so the Google Play Store and the Promethean Store. So I've got something to say about both of these app stores. Google Play Store you might not have on your Active Connect. Um, if this is the case, at the very end I'm going to show you the steps you need to take in order to be able to have the App Store uh, on your Active Connect. Um, the Promethean Store, this is a really new store. It's in its infancy. It's going to develop a lot. Um, initially we sent the Active Connects out with the Aptoid store. It um, has been replaced now through a software update with the Promethean store and again at the end I will show you how you can update to the Promethean store if you're still viewing the Aptoid store here on your uh, app launcher. Okay so we're going to start with the Google Play Store. Now when I come in here what I'm going to do is just do a search and it's already come up with my last um, searches. If it hadn't I could be typing here and it's going to come up with other options but I'm going to go with scientific calculator. Um, there are literally dozens of free scientific calculators there as you can see. Now they're mostly um, it's a it's a bit hit and miss. Obviously the star ratings are out of five so for instance I might, I'm just going to do a screenshot of this, I might be thinking this one looks pretty good because it's got 4.7 stars but it also has this, ads. I don't really want ads popping up while I'm in class using an app so I'm just not going to download it. If it's one that I really, 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 really want and it's got ads in it, I can stop the ads popping up by turning off the Wi-Fi or the internet to my Active Connect, but that's a bit fiddlier. So I'm just going to download one that doesn't have ads in it. Okay, so this one looks quite good. The Hyper Scientific Calculator, I've downloaded that one before actually, so let's do something new. Let's go for this one. It's had a million downloads. Let me read a bit more about it. I can view some images of the types of things it can do. Can't say I use a scientific calculator a lot anymore these days, but I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to install it. Now the speed of the download depends on two things. Number one, the size of the file. All the apps are relatively small files and number two your internet download speed. So mine's relatively good because I'm not constrained by uh, any diocese or um, DT networking um, restrictions. So my download has been super quick. If you're experiencing a much longer download, I, I sympathise with you, but you need to talk to your IT people about that. Now, as you can see here, I could open the app here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to my home screen because I'm going to show you it hasn't automatically downloaded onto here. This is something that I have specifically um, customized to suit myself. I can add the calculator app to my ring of shortcut apps here but I want to show you where to find it when it has downloaded. I can either flick from the left oh, like so to view all of my apps or I can use this button here oops that I'm, oh, that I'm circling here tap on that and it opens me all of my apps. Now automatically when they download they self-categorize into those folders and I think it will be down in here. There it is. There's my new scientific calculator app and I can tell it's new because it says new. I'm going to click on that 
and it's going to open. So it's a relatively pain free experience. Looks a bit ugly. Don't think I'd keep that one to be honest. Um, as I say, it's a bit of trial and error. Let's have a look now at the Promethean store. As I say, this is in its infancy and it will develop over time. Um, you're not likely to see a million downloads of an app yet. That is because this is such a new app store. Okay, so I could go through categories um, and have a look at all the different categories that we've got there. I'm just going to go and do a simple search. Okay, so I might do science, there we go, scientific calculator. And then we have some more scientific calculators. Okay, and I'm going to just click on, let's say that one. Okay, there's only been six downloads as you can see. That's because the app store is so new. Got to start somewhere. I'm going to click download. Here it comes relatively quickly. And install. Oh, app installed. Beautiful. So I'll open it from here. There we go. Okay. Oh. It appears I've got one with ads in it. <laughs> After all that. Okay. So I could have found that, remember, in here. I don't think it was that one. Mm, might have downloaded it into a different category. Not sure. Anyway, let's have a look at, if you would like Google Play, and you haven't got it yet and then let's have a look at the Promethean store and how to change that so for both these things I'm going to go out to my browser I'm going to go to the support site so that is support.prometheanworld.com I'm going to click on wireless presentations Active Connect G series and I'm going to show you two ways you can get Google services. So before you can load the Google Play Store, you actually need to load Google services onto your device. Now, if you scroll right to the bottom, I'm just going to take a screenshot of this so I can draw on it. You'll notice here under the software download section, you can download Google services for Active Connect G Series. If I clicked on that, that will start to download Google services to my Active Connect device. What I would then do would be to go out and go into my Explorer, which is here, okay, go into my Downloads folder and there's the APK file. So I would then load Google services from there. If you've loaded a different file, um, Explorer like ES File Explorer, okay, you would go out into your downloads and there's Google services waiting to be loaded there because you downloaded it from the website to your Active Connect directly. If you're not with your Active Connect, let's say you were at home or you were using a computer in your classroom to go onto the web and you've gone to support.prometheanworld.com what you could do is you could look for the articles it's not there so I'll just search it Google, oh there we go, Google services anyone would think I'd done this before and we should have an article there am I looking straight at it? Few more articles. Normally pop straight up. Here we go. How do I reinstall Google services? Although it's talking about reinstalling, put that on hold because in the instructions here it's 
showing you, and again I'll just take a screenshot, that orange word is a link. So if you click on that word and do what it says here, copy it to your computer in a USB drive, then you can follow the rest of the instructions on how to load it onto your Active Connect. So you can do one of two things, you can load Google services directly onto the Active Connect device and find it in your downloads folder or you can save it onto a USB and load it into the slot that says USB OTG on your Active Connect device and if I just draw your attention to the side of the Active Connect here there are two USB slots one says USB and one says USB slash OTG okay this one is where your touch should be plugged into this is where you would put the memory stick to load Google services from okay and the instructions are there now if you have the Aptoid um, place uh, app store the Aptoid app store on your Active Connect, what you need to do is an update to your device. So if you go into your apps and you go into the settings part of your apps, here is something called update. And if you click on that, what you can do is you can try to do an update. Currently, and we're talking February of 2017 here, the current update is version 1.0.18. What should happen is, provided you're connected to a network or to the internet, those updates should be happening automatically in the background. You should never have to manually update. There are ways you can manually up update using uh, a file off a USB, but hopefully if you've got an online uh, connection, you can just do the un online update. Obviously I've got the latest version. If I didn't have it would prompt me and I could download and then install the latest version. Once I've got this version, what I would then do on my ring here, I would see the Aptoid store. I don't think I have that any longer anywhere on my device. No, I don't. So let's see if we've got instructions for that which we should do on our website here so I'm going to put app toyed search oops oops search all right here we go so the Aptoid symbol looked like that and you need to then remove it from your screen. Okay, so you're looking for that symbol on this home screen. Okay, to remove it from the home screen, and I'll do it here to the Promethean store, you hold down and you click remove. Okay, just like that. Now you're going to reload the Promethean store in its place. Okay, so you've removed that Aptoid and you're going to hold down inside that circle. You're going to say add a bubble from generic app and you're going to find, it's alphabetical so I'm going to scroll down a bit, the Promethean store. Okay, and that's how you will have that. Now see how that's gone to the top of my um, ring there. I might want it next to my other app store so I'm going to hold down on it and I'm going to drag it down and pop it there. Okay so you can reorder things however you like on the page there. Okay hopefully that has been useful to you. It's really quick, it's really easy to download apps um, you will have a preference for whether you want to use Google Play or the Promethean um, store. 
do keep an eye on the Promethean store as it develops because it is going to get a lot more interesting. Enjoy.